Thank you for listening to facts about ISAF. First of all, Iceland always has and will continue to honour its international obligations. It's our view that there is no clear legal obligation for the Icelandic state to give a guarantee for the debts of private banks. The Icelandic parliament has nevertheless decided that an amicable solution is to be found for the ISAF dispute. It arose after 85% of the banking system collapsed and 95% of the overall stock market's value vanished. Based on the decision of the parliament, the government signed an agreement whereby the Icelandic state shall give a guarantee for the full repayment of all claims the Dutch and UK governments have brought forward because of the ISAF accounts. For a large nation, with a population counted in millions or tens of millions, the overall amount involved might not seem excessive, around 3.5 billion pounds sterling. But when we take into account that only 300,000 people live in Iceland, that equates to about 40,000 pounds sterling per family. As the president of Iceland has called for a referendum on the legislation, the Icelandic people will decide if the law is to have effect in the future. My view is that the agreement is unreasonable and unfair. I've therefore fought against the state guarantee and I will ask the people of Iceland to say no in the referendum. Let's stick to the facts here. The European legislation for depositors guarantee has failed. It did not take into account the total collapse of a banking system as occurred in Iceland. Therefore, Iceland should not, must not and cannot take the blame.